This is the 2021 Huracan Evo Spider. Yes, do you see this car? This car is exceptional. It looks amazing and it drives super crazy. I borrowed this car from California Auto Rental. They're in California, so whenever you're here and you want to take your girl out on a fancy date and you're like, okay, I'm gonna get a car, this is the place you come to, okay? Call Gary, Gary got you. spider is here to replace the regular Huracan. In the Lambo family, this is considered as the entry-level sports car. Sure, entry. This bad boy costs $290,000, so I don't know if it's entry-level, but hey, when you see this car, you know this car is gonna go crazy. 0 to 60, 2.5 seconds, engine V10, okay, and horsepower 630, okay. Top speed, 200 miles per hour. We're gonna fly today. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna show you the cool stuff that's on the outside of this car, then on the inside, and then you already know what we're gonna go do. We're gonna drive, and we're gonna drive super fast today. So as you can see, this car is a convertible. That's why it's called the Spider. The Spider is the convertible. The Huracan Evo regular is the regular one. <laughs> the key the key is pretty special right so right there so if you want to open the trunk you already know it's a Oricon right here and you see where they put the Lambo logo this is pretty different right when it comes to opening the door the door handle is a little funny so let's see how we open this let's talk about the rear the rear end is so fucking pretty. I think that's my favorite part of the car. Do you see those exhausts? They're priced pretty high compared to other cars. You know, it would be right here. But this one looks like some fucking jet engines. And we're like, Woo! like, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to fly. But yes, I really like that. It looks really aggressive and uh, still pretty. On this car, I want to show you the engine because there is an engine cover. Ooh, heavy all right so that's it so you don't really see the engine but hey because it's underneath all of this but yes you see a little bit something that's pretty cool is that when the top is down you can see another logo of the hurricane spider it tells you this is the spider so you know when you pull up with your top down everybody is gonna know what you're driving I mean people should know but if they don't, now you tell them. So you guys know by now my obsession with trunks. So we're gonna try to get in this one today. Let's see how big that is. Ooh, I think uh, this one is gonna be very difficult for me. Are we trying? Okay, let me take my shoes off. Uh, guys, I really cannot. This one will not take me at all. Let me get out. Very tiny. And you know, you see those bags. So let's open those bags and see what's in there. Let's open. So in this one, okay. So you get some tools for uh, if you get a flat tire. I hope that never happens because this is the worst. So if you get a flat tire, you have some tools to change your tires. I would just call it AAA, yeah. And in the other one, I already looked, it's some tools. 
So the main difference in the inside of this car is they have a touch screen, a big one in the middle because you know before most of the screen was in the gauge cluster and that was only for the driver so the passenger couldn't do shit like couldn't turn up the volume couldn't change the station nothing couldn't do nothing couldn't even see the navigation nothing so now there is a screen in the middle like in the previous Uricons and in the previous Lambo a bunch of hexagon on the screen the radio hexagon the home button doesn't say home it's a fucking hexagon too. One thing I would say that I don't really like is the volume control. The volume kind of sucks how to move it because you got to double press and then do it manually. I, no, I want a knob or something because this is too difficult. But besides that, this is pretty easy to use and it's very responsive to the touch. And by them doing that, they really made the car a little more modern. So if you're wondering how to start your car, it's right here. It's in red. You lift it and you press it. And then you know you gotta put it back but if you're lazy like me there is an opening where you can just press it so to put the car in gear is a little difficult right here there is a paddle shifter you press it now you're in gear and then obviously you still have your parking they, they left you with the p and the m for manual if you want to you know do it on your own a cool thing is the reverse the reverse one they want you to feel like you're in a fucking spaceship so you I have to be I mean hopefully you're not going fast when you go reverse but this is how you reverse your car there's another button that looks like a little uh, window I think but it's not for your regular windows it's for your wind deflector right there in the back so, so if you feel like it's too much wind you can put it up if you want more wind you put it down obviously and you can even do it when the roof is on so you can maybe get a little more fresh air or uh, you want to hear your engine a little more you put it there let's talk about the steering wheel they try to put as many things that they could on it so you don't ever have to take your hands off of it so the turn signals right here you gotta push it push it the other way and then if you want to cancel you gotta press in the middle unless you made that turn and it's gonna cancel by itself then there's the high beam right here there's also the window wipers and also my favorite button in this whole car is the middle because it's gonna help you with your driving mode so strata because we're in an italian car for street sport for sport and a corsa i don't know you you figure that out for me but yeah so that's where you do your driving modes one of the cool things that i like in this car also are the toggle switches in the middle so you have your windows that's where your real windows are if you want to put them down the distress hopefully will never be in distress so we don't use that and uh your front lift your front axle lift because you know your car is very low and we're not trying to scrape it at the bottom so that's where you hit it your car is gonna go up and then down and then you can clear whatever you need to clear also something that's very different we got to talk about those sun visors they're actually very tiny and the second thing is you got to pull them towards you it's very weird it's not like this usually usually it's the other way around you open this one is this and uh, they gave you a little mirror you can only see your eyes in it but hey maybe that's all you need to fix okay so guys we're gonna do my favorite part i'm so excited that's only my second um recon so i'm excited i'm gonna put my seat belt trying to be good today all right we're gonna go let's go so we're on regular mode right now because uh, we're gonna start regular but we're gonna, fl mm, I was gonna say we're gonna flow it. There is a red light, so we're gonna wait. So uh, it is pretty loud. I don't know if you hear, I hear it, it's pretty loud. But hey, it's a convertible, what are you expecting? Yo, I get so fucking excited to be in cars. Um, I shouldn't be that excited, but I, I really am. We're gonna go to this street right here so I can flow it real quick on a regular mode. It's regular right now, let me see. Wow, guys, 
Um, <laughs> I, I am speechless and this is only a uh, regular mode so I can't wait for us to be uh, in sports which is gonna be next because uh, we're not regular here we only do sports usually uh, let me get my hair back well the the transmission is really smooth like you don't even feel when it's switching gears it's really cool it's a little bumpy I'm not gonna lie but I do not mind I don't mind the bumps because uh, we're going fast so I don't know if you would like to put this as your daily driver because it's a little rough but you know me like I probably just have one car in the garage and drive it every day so if you're like me and we don't get we're not rich yet then we'll drive it every day <coughs> all right so we're gonna switch uh, mode okay because uh, we need to so we're gonna go sports mode we're in sports right now let me make sure there is nobody okay so there is nobody so we should be good let's see I'm sorry for all the yelling. What the fuck is going on? Wow. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> it was the fire department uh, blinking at me. Uh, yo. I can't. I really need one of these cars. I probably don't. But I, I really want one. Guys, this shit is crazy. I think that so far, that's probably the, the fastest car I've ever been in. This shit is amazing. Amazingly crazy. Oh, I can go. I found another road where we can go fast. So we're going we're gonna to stay here. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you saw the car. Uh, started uh, drifting oh my fucking oh my god the car was drifting yo uh, the car was going so crazy that uh, it didn't even stay on my shit guys I cannot I cannot Okay, let, let me turn around. I need to return this car pretty quickly because uh, this is no good for me. This is no good car for me. Um, wow. All right, so while we're sitting here, because I can't, I can't talk and, uh, and drive at the same time because this car needs all my attention. So the suspension is a little stiff, but it's good for like a better handling. Also, when you take the corners, the car is not moving. You can take your corners uh, without um, slowing down, which is what I like to do. Yo, my heart is pounding and uh, I'm not done driving, so I'm still excited. But yes, I, I wanted to let you know this. Okay, so that's what I wanted to let you know. Uh, we're we're going to drive one, a, a little more. Yo, I'm excited. Oops. <laughs> This car don't want to let me go now. Let's see. Let's go. This shit is crazy, guys. Oh, my God. 